is the opinion that only Allah can judge based on the Murjia opinion that Iman is only in the heart and not actions. And are these people who follow this opinion today modern day Murjia? Um, yes, there is a, I don't mean yes, that they are, right? <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is that there is this idea, or who are the murjia anyway? The murjia are a group of people who believe that iman is constant. And that iman is just, or faith, is something you have. And that your iman and my iman is the same as the iman of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Abu Bakr and Jibreel. You know, we have all the same iman. This contradicts and that Iman doesn't change, it stays constant. Yeah? So this contradicts what we know from the Quran itself, from the teachings of the Prophet وسلم, and from the understanding of all of the companions. As many as we know that they agreed that Iman increases with obedience to Allah and it decreases with disobedience to Allah. So Iman is something that increases and decreases. So the more you obey God and you do it sincerely and correctly, then your Iman increases. And the more you disobey God, then you know your Iman decreases. But brothers and sisters, I want you, for those of you who listened to my talk yesterday, you will understand what I'm trying to say. Because you may see from a person the outward manifestation or outwardly you may see them doing a deed. For example, a person may pray only their obligatory prayers. You don't see them praying any extra prayers. Maybe you don't see them fasting a lot or giving a lot of charity. Let me mention this hadith, I mentioned it yesterday, I will mention it again. That a woman, the, the companions of the Prophet asked the Prophet وسلم, about a certain woman. They said, there is a woman who prays a lot of extra prayers. And she does a lot of extra fasting and she gives a lot in charity. But she has a bad tongue and she abuses her neighbors. The Prophet ﷺ said, she is a person of hellfire. And they asked about a person, a woman. She doesn't do a lot of extra prayers. She doesn't do extra fasts. She gives small and insignificant things in charity, but she never speaks bad about people. The Prophet said, ﷺ, she's a person of paradise. So the point here is, brothers and sisters, that... Your iman increasing and what we call good deeds is not necessarily based upon the quantity. It could be or maybe even often is based upon the quality. And the quality of a deed is how it transforms you internally. And that's not something you can see really easily. You can't look into a person's heart. Okay, you can see certain things. They say bad things that, you know, what's in the heart is going to show itself on the limbs sooner or later. But this is not necessarily something that is easy to judge. Even a person may do something bad. And I give you another example. There was a man. Once the Prophet wasallam, his companions asked the Prophet to come to their house to pray in the house. Now the reason they asked the Prophet to do that is because they lived far from Medina and far from the mosque. They couldn't travel to the mosque back and forth every day. They wanted the Prophet wasallam to come and pray in the house and that would give it a type of approval that they could use this as a place of prayer. So when the Prophet wasallam came there and he prayed, the people started saying, or even the prophets, I can't remember, the Prophet wasallam asked, where is such and such? He knew that this particular companion, he lived in this vicinity. They said, Ya Rasulullah, such and such has become a munafiq. 
The Prophet wasallam said, don't say that. They said, Ya Rasulullah, we never see him except he is always with the munafikun, the hypocrites. We just see him with the hypocrites. The Prophet wasallam said, maybe he has some business with them. Meaning, maybe there's something that he can't help having to deal with them due to some circumstances. But the Prophet ﷺ knew about this individual, that he loved Allah and he loved the Messenger. So this is very important, that it's not always easy just to judge a person straight away by what you see from them. This is a very important lesson. So, yes, brothers and sisters, this saying, you know, only God can judge me. Again, it could be a type of excuse, as I said, and I already mentioned my whole lecture was really about that. A person does evil. They say, oh, the faith in my heart. Well, if you have faith in your heart, we'll see you. Generally, that's the reality. If, if you really have faith, right? You know, my beard is in my heart. My hijab is in my heart. Really. Where did you get that from, this idea that the beard's on your hairy heart or whatever, right? No, I mean, you know, for, no, I mean, okay, there may be circumstances and Allah knows best. And Allah knows best. I don't make a judgment, if I see a sister without hijab, I don't make some judgment about her, astaghfirullah, look at that, you know, or a brother without a beard, or I make a judgment, or, no, why, why would you do, you don't know what state of knowledge they are, whether they know, whether they don't know, you, we don't know what they're going through, so we shouldn't make judgments about people like that, it's not right just to make judgments about people, that's certainly correct, we shouldn't do that, yeah, but if you talk to the person, for example, and you know, mashallah, the brother works in, uh, you know, a halal meat shop, right? And you know, even the people there are saying, why don't you grow your beard, brother, right? And he's, he's not doing it, he says, the beard's in my heart, right? And you can't, what possible reason is there for not him to do what the Prophet ﷺ told him to? Or the same with the sister. Then you, then you see the circumstances different. Then of course you're going to start making a judgment about that person. So here's the thing is that we shouldn't make snap judgments. We shouldn't be quick to judge people. We should always be people of empathy. This is very important. You know, forgiveness, overlooking of faults, compassion, empathy is very important. Trying to understand what the person is going through, trying to feel what that person is going through. So these are the type of qualities that we need to have in respect to our Muslim brothers and sisters.